hey guys welcome to my channel once again my name is omo balan going through a series of the skill stations to expect in your midriff or ski and um, this is going to be another skill station in today's video would we'll be going through ivy flush and the vip vip is visual special flabite like we've been doing before we'll just go through the marking criteria again Without wasting so much time, we're just going to go right into it. So the IV flush and the VIP marking criteria. VIP is visual infusion phlebitis. So basically, so you look at the site and then you assess some things. So it's one of the skill stations that you could possibly get um, in your midwifery or ski. So just go straight into the marking criteria and then I would insert a video at the end of when I was practicing for mine. <laughs> okay? Okay. Are we on the same page? Yes. Shall we do this? It's quite a long list. So you've got about 18. So we've got 18 and we'll just go through it quickly. So number one says checks that all the equipment required for the procedure is available and where applicable is sterile. The packaging is undamaged, intact and dry. The sterility indicators are present and any other sterilized items and have changed color where applicable. So you just check everything. The assessor will usually tell you the train has been cleaned. Check everything, all the equipment and you ensure that it's fine. Assesses the cannula and verbalizes signs of levitis. So here, it depends on how the situation eventually goes. But this is my assessment criteria. It doesn't mean this is the order it is going to follow. I don't know if you get what I mean. Because before you go on to assess the cannula, you must have definitely created some rapport with the patient. And you let the patient know what you want to do. So... This order might not be the order you get to use in your exam. I don't know if you get what I mean. So, but you're assessing the cannula and verbalizing signs of phlebitis. So, there are five things that we're mentioning that we're looking out for that are signs of phlebitis. Looking out for, is there pain on the side? Is it swollen edema? Is it red erythema? That's P-O-E-P-P. -P -P. I used the acronym of P-O-E-P-P. -P. So, P is pain. O is edema. E is erythema. Is it red? Then another P is, is there pyrexia? Is it warm to touch? You might also consider checking the temperature or asking the assessor, can you confirm what his temperature is today? And the last P is palpable venous cord. So you're checking for 16. So as you check, you'll be conversing with the patient. Assessor, I'm just going to look at the um, IV site for any signs of pain. I'll ask, I'll ask my patient if she's got any pain. I'll check for any swelling just to rule out edema. I'm going to check if it's red. Assessor, can you confirm is the site red? I'm going to check if um, there is any palpable venous cord. Assessor, can you confirm is there any palpable venous cord? Something like that. So, cleanse hands according to WHO guidelines. States that the tray or, or trolley has been cleaned with detergent wipes um, or... And all requ equipment required for the procedure are the bottom shelf. So the assessor would usually tell you it has been cleaned, but you still need to confirm whether it's been cleaned or not. Then you've done your APPE. You take the equipment to the patient's bedside in the tray or trolley. You gain consent. You explain the procedure to the woman. Before administering, because it's a medication, you want to do the ID checks again. And then you want to check the rights, um, the rights, the rights of medication because it's a medication. So you don't want to forget not to do that. Then you check the prescription because it's um, it's more like it's very similar to an implementation station. So you have to go through the prescription again, like you would normally do if it was an implementation station. The name, the date of birth, is this prescription valid? Is the bleep number there? All the things that you would look out for normally. The signature of the prescriber there is, is the prescription eligible. You check everything. And then, of course, you say it how to your assessor. We'll do another video. I'll do another video at some point of what the implementation station is like. Then, um, if after you've confirmed that this is it, you'll see it on the match chart. 
that says that it's prescribed sodium chloride for flush at this time of the day and you're happy to give when you get it usually in a pre-filled syringe you check is it in date is it valid is it open is it leaking anywhere and i'm, I'm happy to use this next thing here yes, says cleans hand with alcohol rub again cleans the hand of the needle with sterile alcohol wipes saturated with that's the 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 cleaning then connect refilled syringes so what equipment are we taking to the bedside so you're taking two alcohol wipes you have your you have your syringe on the trolley as well i think that's pretty much what you're taking connect the prefilled syringe to the needle free cap with an aseptic non-touch technique flushes the cannula with pulsating action boom 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 ask the woman whether there's any discomfort you dispose your waste appropriately verbalization is accepted you clean your hands again um then you date and sign the drug administration chart because it's a medication you ask professionally throughout that is everything they expect of you assessment criteria wise so after we have done the um you've inspected the site what decision what's your lessons of the inspection in the first place this document would also be provided for you like it's just going to be on the side on the exam day so it's just to tell us what the phlebitis score is so after you've checked each one of them is of course we are checking for five things so each one of them has a score of one if the answer the assessor answers yes to any one of them you would only go on to proceed to flush if the person scores a score of zero or one if it's a score of two three four five you will not proceed to flush but because they also want to assess you for how you would get to flush and how you would get to check the the match chat and all you may not actually get a two three four or five but you can verbalize that if it's a two three or five you won't go on to flush and yes we never can tell as well they could actually give you a scenario where it's a two three four or five and they want to watch what you want to do so if you get a value of three don't say because they are they said that i must flush then you go ahead to flush if it's a value of two if your assessor has answered yes to two or three questions you just let her know oh then in that case i'm not going to be giving you this medication because i think the site is compromised and what you need to do for each of the scores is written right here so if it's a score of zero the high vis site appears ld then it means there is no signs of phlebitis you're just observing the cannula if it's a score of one um let's say the and the score of one depends on what is yes to so if it's slight pain or slight redness, then it's a score of one. Then it's possible first signs of phlebitis. You're observing the cannula. If the, the, the answer is a yes to pain at IV site and there's redness and there's swelling, then it is early stage of phlebitis. It means that you're reciting the cannula. So what you need to do is basically stated on here. That's pretty much what that station is about um yeah i'll put a video of me when i was doing mine at the end of this video so for the iv push and phlebitis score it's a new station so what are we doing there now so okay so they'll give you the you'll not get your scenario so i'm going to perform my hand hygiene according to the who7 steps of hand hygiene palm to palm back of the hand fingers interlaced fingers interlocked thumb to thumb rotation of the fingers and wrist and leave my hands to dry so i'll go to the patient and introduce myself so amy my name is Bolaji. um i'm the midwife looking after you today before i proceed i'd like to confirm that i have the right patient with me can you confirm your name and your date of birth please okay my name is nicole my date of birth is 4th of january 1985 okay i can see that with your band that you're amy hall and i can also see that on the documentation as well and your date of birth is first of march 1985 do you have any allergies 
no no allergies yeah i can see that on your documentation as well um so yeah i'm happy that i have the right patient with me um so i've just come to assess your your iv infusion site um because you have a cannula in place it is expected that it is assessed every 12 hours once in every shift and a flush is given and that's just what i've come to do so but before i proceed i'm just going to eh, did i do my ppe after washing my hand i'll check the scene for safety and i'll use my ppe so obviously i have my ppe on now then um, i'll check the site for any redness um any warmth i'm gonna feel for warmth and i'll also check the temperature of my patient after to know then um i'll check for any swelling any venous palpable cord and i'll also check for parexia udema pain venous palpable cord what's the last one there's one martin there are five things that you are checking for. Please remind me. Um, I've actually checked everything. Oh. For color, I've checked if it's red or not. So yeah, I've checked everything actually. It looks like I was missing something. So I've checked everything. Then, um, are you feeling any pain on the site? Assess or... No. Okay. So Amy, there's no pain there. So um, I'll plot that on the from the charts. It looks like that's a score of zero since you don't have any pain. Um, so it looks okay at the moment. I'm happy to administer the flush. Um, so I'm just gonna give you the call bell if you need me. You can use it. I'm just gonna go prepare the flush quickly. Okay. So I will discard my PPE and perform hand hygiene again according to WHO seven steps of hand hygiene. Then I will go to prepare. Assessor, can you confirm if this tray is clean and fit to use, or is it disposable? Is it a disposable tray? Okay, all right then. So I am happy to use it. I can see that it's clean. Um, I'm just going to be checking the prescription and getting the medication ready um so i'll get the prescription chart i can see the name amy her date of birth um and then this is the number the nhs number which is correct as well so the prescription says high v push and um i can see that the date is here the bleep number is here the signature is here this the prescription is valid i have the right patients i have the right medication it's the right time it's the right all the rights then um i can see the medication it's the name, same name it's this date of um it is date of expiry it is intact it is not there's no leak anywhere it is safe to use i'll put it on the tray um i'll put two alcohol swaps and then i'll go to the patients back to the patient bedside i'll don't use my ppe and go back to the patient's bedside so amy it's me again i'm back i've just come to administer your flush um can you confirm your name and your date of birth for me again please name is amy hall date of birth is january 1st 1985 okay i can see that that's amy hall january 1st 1985 that's correct on your wristband and that is also correct so i have the right patient with me um so i'm just going to go on to administer the flush now um i'll clean the pots with um alcohol swab for 30 seconds and leave to dry for 30 seconds um Sessa, can you confirm if 30 seconds is complete yes go ahead. okay so i'll uh, using aseptic non-touch technique i would um um connect both pots to one another and i would administer using the pulse and stop method um until all 10 meals is administered um if you feel any if you feel any discomfort do let me know and i'll stop right away is that okay amy yes please. okay so um medication administered now i'll clean the pot again with for with alcohol swap for 30 seconds and i'll discard into the clinical waste bin um i would go on to document after amy um this is the call bell if you need me you can use use the call bell and i'll come to you straight away um i'll discard my 
I'll discard the equipment or everything I've used um, into the clinical waste bin. I'll perform my hand hygiene using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Then I'll document that the hive, um, the I'll do document the phlebitis score and document that the hive flush has been given at this time. That's all. Oh, God, I beg it. I do hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please let me know in the comment section. Feel free to like, share, and engage in the other videos. Um, so you see me again in my next video. I remain your darling or more PG. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye.